shoulder of indulgence. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to, and ask at the receptionist's desk to meet the holder of indulgence. If the receptionist is male, he will lean back in his chair and breathe deeply. If the receptionist is female, she will lean forward and let out a heavy sigh. After several seconds, they will lead you outside to an old car. Sit in the front, next to the receptionist. Do not sit in the back, or look into the rear-view mirror at any time during the trip. If you do, well, let's just say the other passengers will not appreciate it. The receptionist may have a discussion with you, and you must answer any question he or she asks honestly, unless you would like to learn what happens to liars and their tongues. There is no need to wear a seat belt, so don't. After driving for what will seem like days, the receptionist will take you to the middle of a field where an old brothel sits. The doors will open suddenly and the receptionist will be gone. If the sun is setting, get to the brothel quickly, for only the soft glow of the lanterns hanging on its porch will protect you from what lurks in the fields. When you arrive at the porch, you must not attempt to enter the brothel or peer inside. If you do, its patrons will pull you in and you will be unable to escape its pleasures even as they rip you apart. On the porch, you will notice a large woman playing a flute made of human sinew and bone. Each note she plays causes the instrument to bleed heavily. You have never heard her song before, but you will be able to hum softly to her rhythm. After a few minutes, or hours, depending on how loud you are, she will stop playing. At this point you must remove all of your possessions, including your clothes. If you have gold or silver fillings, it is recommended you remove them as well. You should have no need to fear her if you have truly given her everything on your person, because anything you have left on or tried to hide, she will use to bring you everlasting suffering. After you have removed all of your belongings and laid them at her feet, she will nod once. Move forward and on one knee, take her left hand and ask, How did they find happiness? Suddenly, her left hand will grip your arm and turn a deathly cold. You will not be able to move without tearing your arm off. The flute will begin to play itself, and through its sound you will hear of their violent orgies and how they cackled with glee at their creations. You may feel yourself so overcome with disgust that you will jam your fingers into your ears so deeply that you puncture your very brain. If, however, you can survive and retain your sanity, when the song is finished you will find the old woman dead and decayed, having released her grip on you some time ago. At this point you may pick up the flute and the receptionist will return with a fresh set of clothing for you as he or she drives you back to the institution. The flute is object 192 of 538. Its song is the only thing that distracts them.